Yo, my people, damn. CFC, Riddles Blue, back with another video. And it's a Chelsea News update, man. In this update, we're going to be talking about what Paul Winston Lee and Lawrence Stewart had to say on Chelsea's vision, as well as Cole Palmer. I'll be reading out the quotes from their interview with The Telegraph. Not everything, but a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Help me get at least... 300 views help me get at least 10 likes on the video and thank you to everyone for your support on the watch alongs throughout the international break and i hope you all have a wonderful wednesday inshallah you have a good wednesday and remember match preview match review watch along saturday sunday for the liverpool game but yeah now let's get into this and this is what paul winston lee and lauren stewart had to say on chelsea's vision so this is a club that needs to be in the champions league it's a club that needs to be competing to win trophies consistently. We want to do that with a certain way of playing football as well. So that absolutely is the ambition. Then the plan has been, how do we go on a path to make that possible? That's been around investing in talent, committing to develop, committing to develop talent and developing a way of playing the way we want our teams to play. One of the messages the owners gave us from the beginning is that this is not about a short-term win or a short-term project. It's about long-term success and that's been one of the driving things on all of the decisions that we've made. That absolutely is the idea to try and make the club long-term successful when there's the chance that have happened when there's the changes that have happened new ownership and what we walked into you're always going to get some turbulence in the middle there's been some changes here staff players and then you get the upward trajectory and that's the place that we feel like we are in at the moment I think there was an acceptance, there was a lot of work to do. You always want to come out of that as quickly as you can do. So I think you are seeing after four transfer windows, there has been a period of time for that regeneration of the squad. We are out of that now. We are completely out of that. We've had to make some brave decisions. But we feel the squad and the staff here at Cobham, the manager and the playing staff are all are, are in a really good spot. That's what they had to say on Chelsea's vision. And fam, there's been a lot of things to talk about. As they've mentioned, there was turbulence in the middle. They've come in and Chelsea finishing 12th, finishing 6th in back-to-back -back seasons is not what we are used to on a consistent basis. We never go two seasons during the last 20 years without getting top four and that is the turbulence having so many players having so many injuries having so many just negative results these are the things that are going to happen especially during the fact that Chelsea in the last couple of years have gone through things that what other Premier League team can talk about that they've gone through getting getting the sanctions in order to get Todd Bowley Clear Lake Capital Adalek Bali Feliciano no other club in the Premier League have gone through this kind of thing where literally a war has had to happen for us to change our ownership from Roman Abramovich. No other club can talk about that they've had that happen in their Premier League. No other club. And this is what we've had to go through for the last couple of years. Like 12, 6, no Champions League football for two consecutive seasons. Like I've said, 20 years that didn't happen. But now, as they've said... After four transfer windows, we are coming out of that bad spot and we are now in a better mood. We have Enzo Moresco here, who's playing football the way we want to play. Attacking football, transition football. And as long as we get our defence up to, up to standard, we are definitely going to get top four, in my opinion. Just based off the way these guys have gone about playing football and the recruits that we've signed. Think about it. Before this ownership came in, we had guys like Kai Havertz, Mason Mount, let's say Tammy Abraham, Christian Pulisic, Timo Werner, Romelu Lukaku, Hakim Ziyech, 
So many guys who couldn't deliver. We all expected them to do wonders for continuous seasons. And out of all of them, it's only Mason Mount that really had good seasons back-to-back -back years for Chelsea. Whereas all of them were so inconsistent. Now we have Jaden Sancho's, Mikhailo Mudricks. We have Nicholas Jackson, Christopher Nkunku, Joao Felix, Cole Palmer, Noni Madweki, Pedro Neto. Not to mention Estavio William, Kendry Pires coming in the next 12 months. Already from last season, what the team produced from an attack standpoint was arguably better than what we've had during the last couple of years. And our attacking presence is the thing that let us down under the previous um under the previous players that we had. The defense was the was the critical thing that held us. But now it's our attack. If we just benefit and sustain our defense, we are going to be a whole lot better. And Obviously, I'm not trying to sit here and say that I agree with every single decision that Paul Winston, Lee, Lawrence Stewart, the board have ever made because I can't say that. But I am fully with the belief that in the future, we will get back to winning ways because we are Chelsea Football Club. We are Chelsea Football Club. Even in bad seasons where we don't compete for Premier Leagues or Champions League, we can still get to cup finals. Not a lot of teams can say these things. So for me, I am happy to know that these guys have come out and said this. And I'm happy to know that we are not in the mud anymore. We are on the up and up. And I just hope it continues. These guys, the owners, keep doing your thing. Because a couple of years ago, people were critiquing everything. Now, you don't hear no more chattings. No more chattings because Chelsea are back to winning ways. Back in the top four. The same way Arsenal fans love to diss their owners. They love to diss their owners. But now that they're winning, even though they're not winning trophies... They're winning games, getting higher up the table. You don't hear nothing about their ownership no more. You don't hear nothing about them. And why is that? Because they're now spending money on 100 million on Declan Rice. They're spending big money, things that they never did before. And now because they're finishing second, you got teams out there that will be like, oh yeah, we don't have to moan about our owners. That's the power that the Chelsea ownership have always had. And, and any ownership has. They are the people that are going to invest the money Give the, give the team the vision to succeed. And now, as long as we just continue to stay in the top four, continue winning, it's going to be a long day. It is going to be a long day because the talent that we have at our disposal, some of the best. And speaking of some of the best, we have Paul Winston Lee and Lauren Stewart on signing Cole Palmer. So let me read this these quotes to you guys now. So... We weren't going to get him on loan, and that wouldn't have and that wouldn't have suited us either. We want we would we would have always preferred a permanent deal with someone like Cole. Then you enter a period when all of a sudden there's a sense that this might have some legs. Let's push. Let's go. No, did he? Then once you set off on that journey, you get to try to see it through. If there's a chance. And to be fair to Cole. He showed great desire to come here. And that's the sort of player we want. The personality. And, and, and the desire to come here. That's literally what they said. On Cole Palmer. There's other quotes. But it's going to be very very long. And this is just. Things that we've already heard about. Cole Palmer didn't necessarily want to leave Manchester City. They either said. It's either going to be a. It's either you leave permanently or you stay here. He's decided that he wants to leave permanently. During this early stage of the transfer window, teams would have been like, or Manchester City would have been like, no, no, no. Cole Palmer is not for sale. No, no, no. But with the willingness of the player to be like, I'm not staying here to sit on the bench. I want to play football regularly, week in, week out. And that's the desire that he showed. The desire that he's even said in other interviews. Cole Palmer. This is a player that is not about to be like, I'm going to sit on the bench and wait for my time. His time is now. He has transformed himself in a space of a year. 12 months ago, there was no Cole Palmer celebration. There was none of that. Now, he has the celebration. He has the aura. Men's player of the year. Premier League Player of the Month two times already. Goal of the month. You got a guy who's literally 
the player with the most goal involvements right now in the Premier League and all last season. This is what Cole Palmer has done and this is down to him showing his determination, his will to be the best. And this is what Lawrence Stewart and Paul Winston Lee was able to sign for us with the Chelsea ownership. And it's a coup. Food, imagine signing him for 42 and a half million now. He has completely doubled or even tripled his price tag. Who can argue with that? He's the most informed player. Only guys like Lamine Yamal can even try to talk about being as been in as great form as him for for all the players in the world right now so for me i'm happy to know that we have cole palmer it's brilliant to know that we have lauren stewart paul winston lee is is good because personally speaking we had todd bowley as the sporting directors before and he was willing to give someone like mason Mount maybe a 250k contract these guys have brought things in and I'm not going to sit here and say that everything that they do is perfect because no one in this world is perfect. Not me, not you, not Paul, not, not Paul, not Lawrence. None of these guys, Badadik, Bali, Todd Bali, none of these guys, none of us are perfect in this world. But a lot of decisions that were made a couple years ago are benefiting now. And we can only see the fruits of the labor after some hard periods and that's what we've been through. Hopefully now, as the season goes on, as the years go on, Chelsea get back to winning ways, get back to being in the Champions League, get back to winning Premier Leagues and Champions Leagues. That is the aim. And with the squad that we have, it is legitimately possible, personally speaking, because we are Chelsea. But that's just my thoughts and opinions. These are the quotes that were said in Paul Winston Lee and Lauren Stewart's um, interview in The Telegraph. You guys feel free to make an account, read that, and let me know your thoughts and opinions. But on that note, I, I I'll speak to you guys tomorrow and have a lovely Wednesday, inshallah. And yeah, man, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Riddis Blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.